Hey everyone, I wanted to tell you something uh, that, boy, if I thought I was feeling weird the other day, I'm like, <laughs> I'm feeling a lot weirder today, but for a very different reason, and so I wanted to tell you what I see going on that's kind of, um, it would be enough to make anyone feel weird, super weird, okay. Um, you all know I had a Dream 21 Zero America, you know what it means. Okay, I don't know why I feel really, it's like a very heavy, heavy heart feeling for what's about to happen. I can barely talk. I mean, I'm trying to speak for the video here. I've been warning for a long time. A lot of my messages have been about what's coming to America in the past and the world, but a lot on America and so what is going on here is that Again, like it hasn't happened already, the 21st of December is just actually overwhelming me this time to the point where I'm feeling like it could all go down this month. And the reason I'm saying that is because I just got through the past 24 hours or so I just watched a few videos that were all pointing landing on the 21st or the 22nd for, for something major disaster to happen. Now, I'm not going to go into the videos, who they are, what they believe, what uh, what they said, what their name is, because it's just, it's the information that's important right now, and it's just, I can't even go into all of the details, but one video had to do with this celestial lineup in the heavens, uh, amazing discovery, he found that the the 21st is this, the winter solstice, okay? And think about it. The darkest, shortest day of the entire year. And everything's for a reason. And for those of you who might not be as familiar with the stars in the heavens, it's 100% it's biblical. There's a story in the heavens of of everything God made, and um, so on the 21st, there is a lineup in the heavens that matches the heavens right before Noah's flood. Now that's pretty powerful. Okay, then <clears throat> moving on to videos having more to do with the Illuminati's, you know, all the messaging in the media and the, um, you know, the cartoons, Simpsons, Pet Goat, and all that. Uh, it looks like the message, the messaging, could be, um. Again, the 21st, 22nd of December of when the tsunamis and earthquakes and major disasters going to hit. <sighs> um, then I saw a prophecy about America's downfall. And obviously we know <clears throat> when, when the house went against Israel in passing this 
um, well, when passing this resolution in favor of dividing the land, we know that that will be followed by punishment. Okay? So that happened December, I think, 6th. And so God doesn't usually wait too long for this kind of stuff, but this is, this is a big one because it's, oh wow, it's just, you see, it's all lining up, it's all lining up, it's all happening right, right on time, right on schedule here. So that prophecy I saw pretty much matched the feeling in the, the dream I had of 21-0 America. That was like, yep, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen. Earthquakes, tsunamis, oh man, you name it. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be so bad. But not for those who put their faith in Jesus Christ, okay? But sometimes when you give warnings and stuff, you feel more the heaviness of what's coming, okay? And... The excitement of the rapture, you know, of course, that's that's there, but that's not always what I feel when I do warnings and stuff at all. <laughs> it's very heavy giving warnings out. It can be. So, I wanted to give you that right now because, I'm, well, I'm kind of overwhelmed with it. It's just... It's very, it's like very good news and very bad news, you know, and bad news for those who are, don't care about believing that Jesus Christ is the son of God and making them their savior, bringing them, bringing them into their heart. That's why it says, believe with your heart that God raised him from the dead. Romans 8, 9, and 10. It's a heart matter. So, I'm going to let you go with that. I uh, just, uh, wow. Try to tell as many people as you can about Jesus Christ. Saving grace of Jesus Christ. Because... We could very well be at the very end of this thing.